the Omicron variant, the World Health Organization calling it a variant of concern. And tonight they're now saying the global risk is very high. Very little is known, of course. It's believed to be highly transmissible, but it also has dozens of mutations, which of course is also a concern here. First appearing in Southern Africa tonight, now confirmed in at least 17 countries, including Canada. Tonight, Dr. Anthony Fauci suggesting it's likely here in the U.S. already. And President Biden today from the White House saying sooner or later, we will see it here. The president also saying, quote, Omicron is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. The variant first identified in Botswana reported to the World Health Organization on Friday. And you can see the map here tonight. Now confirmed cases in those 17 countries. Of course, just the north in Canada already suspected cases in at least four other countries. The U.S. restricting flights from Botswana, South Africa, and six neighboring countries. The president defending those new travel restrictions, saying it will give the U.S. time to prepare for the inevitable cases here. The last unrestricted flight from Johannesburg arriving at Newark Airport this morning. President Biden coming before the cameras to urge calm and urge action tonight, urging Americans who are not vaccinated to get the shot and for all adults 18 and older to get a booster. Just one of the long lines tonight, Americans getting their shots, this pop-up site in Washington, D.C.'s Franklin Park today. Dr. Jha is standing by right here with us tonight. And of course, those key questions, is this variant more contagious? Could it cause more serious illness? And will the vaccines and the boosters work against it? We'll ask him in a moment here. We'll carefully get to it all tonight, beginning with ABC's Stephanie Ramos leading us off right here in New York. Just hours after the World Health Organization warned the global risks from the Omicron variant are very high, President Biden with Dr. Anthony Fauci at the White House, aiming to reassure the American people and to urge them to get vaccinated and get the booster. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. Scientists are now racing to learn whether the Omicron variant with its 50 mutations is more transmissible than the Delta variant, whether it can make people sicker, and whether our vaccines and booster shots will prevent severe illness. The Omicron variant was first identified in Botswana and is spreading rapidly in South Africa. About 200 cases have been confirmed in at least 17 countries, including three cases in Canada. Dr. Fauci suggesting the variant could already be here, something the president acknowledged today. Sooner or later, we're going to see cases of this new variant here in the United States. Dr. Fauci says he expected our vaccines and the boosters to be effective in knocking down the severity of this new variant, though he cautioned it's still early. We don't know exactly what's going on with this variant, but I would assume, and I think it's a reasonable assumption, that when you get vaccinated and boosted and your level goes way up, you're going to have some degree of protection, at least against severe disease. This morning, the final flight from Johannesburg, South Africa, touching down in Newark, ahead of the new U.S. ban on foreign travelers from eight Southern African countries. I think it's better to be safer than sorry. Uh, to restrict the travel until we know for sure. Tonight, Portugal confirming 13 cases of the Omicron strain in one soccer team after one player traveled to South Africa. The Kennedy family from North Carolina were on a safari in South Africa. They're now making their way home, but the ban does not affect U.S. citizens. Well, I understand that there's a more global and bigger picture than my little nuclear family, but um, I'd like to get home and quarantine at home. Genomic sequencing labs are now racing to find cases of Omicron here in the U.S. The president says all three vaccine makers are preparing to update their vaccines if needed. In the event, hopefully unlikely, that updated vaccinations or boosters are needed to respond to this new variant, we will accelerate their development and deployment with every available tool. Moderna telling us it would take a couple of months. We'll know from laboratory tests in the next couple of weeks just how effective the, the vaccines are against this, this variant. The potential threat from Omicron comes as the U.S. is already seeing a spike with the colder weather and now the busiest travel weekend of the pandemic. Hospital admissions have climbed more than 20 percent since the beginning of the month. Our isolation unit for people with COVID-19 here in the hospital Every day gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We're adding more and more rooms. 
So we're going the wrong way with the variant we know now. Facing a spike in COVID cases already, New York's Governor Kathy Hochul declaring a state of emergency to make sure the state and New York City are ready for any impact from the new variant. And the governor ordering all nursing homes to make booster shots available. We have to deal with the realities of a highly transmissible, we believe, uh, variant. President Biden urging Americans to wear masks indoors when out in public again to keep yourself safe and those around you. Tonight, New York City doing the same. And Stephanie Ramos with us live tonight. And Stephanie, I know the CDC doubling down late today on 18 and older in this country to get your booster. And tonight, you're also learning that boosters could soon be expanded from 18 and up to include 16 and 17 year olds too? Exactly, David. A source familiar with the discussions tells ABC News Pfizer is going to ask the FDA in the coming days to authorize boosters for 16 and 17 year olds. Pfizer's vaccine was authorized for adolescents back in May, so many teenagers are already six months out from their second shot. David. All right, Stephanie Ramos leading us off here on a Monday night. Stephanie, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.